So this was my project. I started on January um, 19th. Or, yeah, 19th, which was Friday. And let's see here. So let me tell you a little bit about this piece. So what I decided to do was do a book. So we have two canvases here. One bigger one and one smaller one. And what I did do is take parchment paper and uh, actually put a love letter that I wrote because my love life is a wreck. Kind of like this book. Beat up, burn up, all of the above. Right? So I put a brick wall there on it because for some reason I'm blocked in the love life type of thing. So the brick wall is for all of that blockage. And um, so basically what I did do is I used parchment paper um, to give it that old look, burnt the edges myself, um, used molding to do the brick work. And then what I did do is I painted it the lighter color brown you see here all over. And then I shaded it in with a darker color brown and then a black to kind of give the brick the the um to raise the indentations and the molding you know the little cracks and stuff like that so that you can see i put a little bit of a silhouette gloss to kind of give it like a little wear and tear like some walls you see a little molding and things like that um so i did that to give that that indent indication and then up under here, as you can see, is a little bit more wording there, and so on and so forth. So, oh, oh also, I um, covered it with liquid glass, so it's still a little sticky, but it's drying. And to show you an overhead portion of it, so you can see it. Yeah, so it, it turned out pretty good. Um, so it's, it's my book, my story, guys. There it is, and all of its glory. I w I'm amazed that I was even able to get this idea out of my head. Sometimes I dream of this stuff, and I get it in my head. And you ever had that moment where you just want to? push it out like you got to get it out kind of like a splinter it has to work its way out so that's exactly what I did I worked it out and I really really honestly didn't think that I was going to be able to make the image in my head come to fruition so I'm proud of it and there's that piece I don't know what to call it but it's me